So step two is to use the KBS clean. I diluted this in the bottle. I put about this much KBS clean in it, filled the rest with warm water. And I'm just gonna use a scrub brush to scrub it in. So they tell you to not let it dry. So it's working out pretty good right now. I think that I'm it will the end of the evening here. So the sun's behind the trees, so it's not beating down on this drying it out real quick. So I did a about half the frame here. So I didn't want it to dry out as I kept going. So, um, but as it did dry a little bit, I came back and sprayed some more on it, and scrubbed that in. Now, depending on how dirty your frame is, you may want to um, keep spraying it on, and even if you have to work in smaller spots, um, just to make sure you get all the grease and, and dirt off. Uh, but since this was freshly sandblasted, uh, it's not that dirty and just making sure I don't have any fingerprints on it and stuff like that. So, like that. so I got the first front half done and I'll just keep working on it. Okay, so the third step here is the KBS Rust Blast. And for this, this is an acid, so you want to make sure you got all your protective gear on. And do not dilute this. stays wet and keep it wet for like it says for lightly rusted like 10 minutes um, medium corrosion like 20 to 40 that's what the instructions say on the flyer but on the bottle it says 30 minutes minimum so I'm going to try and keep it on for 30 minutes and just keep it keep wetting over it So now we'll let that dry and uh, we'll put it in the barn overnight and then tomorrow I can put the KBS rust, rust seal, rust seal.
which I will brush on two coats and then a top coat of uh, it's called black top it's a matte finish frame coating also by KBS um, because the rust seal is not uh, UV stable so not that the frame get a lot of UV direct sunlight but just in case, I don't want it to fade. Okay, so it's been sandblasted, cleaned, and etched. And I got it in the barn now to dry overnight. I got the fan blowing on it down there. Um, it does say that it is not necessary to remove every last speck of rust before applying rust seal and some flash rust or orange staining may occur if the surface was soaked and not dried immediately after using rust blast. So, either case, you're ready for rust seal. So it did, just in the short time from rinsing this to it drying outside in the breeze, it got a little flash rust over most of the frame, so. But that says it is all right, and I kind of figured that would have happened as soon as you get water on bare metal. So, anyway, uh, let this fan blow on this overnight, make sure it's thoroughly dry, and then tomorrow I will start the rust seal process. That leaves a nice smooth finish, even with brush in it. So my plan is to work the cross members and the inside of the frame first and then come back into the outside of the frame. Well, I had a little incident here. As you can see, there's the bottom of the Solo Cup. So the plastic in a Solo Cup will not hold up to this paint. So I had a mess. Luckily most of it I could contain inside the frame rail, except for all the holes where I had some drip out. But I used up as much as I could and just hurried up and spread it around so it says not to use it out of the can but I got a feeling I'm going to use up the whole can so uh, I think that's just what I'm going to have to do here because I don't have any other containers one coat on it took me over three hours, probably three hours and 15 minutes to do one coat. But I think the second coat will go a lot faster because the first coat you gotta get it, you know, really drive it into the, the pores where it was kind of rough from being heavily rusted. So I think the second coat will go a lot faster. I also used um, one quart on this, but I did have that incident where my cup lost the bottom and everything spilled out so I lost some um, and also I think that first coat really has to soak into that those pores in the metal so I don't think I use as much on the second coat either um, so I just got to give it uh, a couple hours here to dry uh, you got to make sure when you touch it it doesn't leave any fingerprints um, but you can't wait too long you have to recoat I think within six hours or something of it setting up so now just waiting 
So this is with the black top coating on top. I thought it would be a little less shiny. Hmm. But it's not dry yet either, so.